Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the dryer belt switch in your washer-dryer combo, be sure to unplug the power cord or shut off the power supply. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the lower access panel. Detach the panel and set it aside. Insert a putty knife above the front access panel to release the spring clips to detach the panel. Remove the lint screen. Next, use a 5 16th inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws to release the air duct. Unthread the four screws securing the heater shield. Detach the shield. Unthread the two lower screws securing the front panel and bulkhead. Unthread the three screws securing the control panel assembly. Fully detach the panel assembly and set it on top of the appliance. Use a small flathead screwdriver to help disconnect the door switch wire connector. You can now unthread the two upper screws securing the front panel and bulkhead. Be sure to support the panel while removing the screws. Lift the panel up, then down to remove. Now reach under the drum and push the idler pulley to release the tension on the belt. Then unthread the belt from the idler pulley and motor pulley. Push the belt behind the drum and you can lift the drum out of the cabinet. Detach the idler pulley spring. Use wire to help keep the pulley out of the way. Pull back the tabs to disconnect the motor wire harness. Now note the orientation of the belt switch wires, then disconnect them. Use a small flathead screwdriver to depress the tabs to release the old belt switch from the motor mount. Install the new belt switch by snapping it into place on the motor mount. Connect the belt switch wires to the appropriate terminals. Reconnect the motor wire harness. Reattach the idler pulley spring. Support the belt on the rear bulkhead. With the indentation near the rear, reinstall the drum by aligning the rear rim on the rollers. Then align the belt in the indentation. Loop the belt around the idler pulley and motor pulley in a zigzag formation.
Rotate the drum to help align the belt. Reinstall the front panel and bulkhead by aligning the drum on the bulkhead as you hook the panel on the brackets. Thread the upper screws. Reconnect the door switch wire. Reinstall the control panel assembly. Rethread the three screws on top. Thread the lower screws to secure the front panel. Reposition the heater shield and secure it with the four screws. Realign the air duct and thread the screws to secure. Replace the lint screen. Align the front access panel spring clips with the slots and snap the panel into place. Reposition the lower access panel and secure it with the screws. Plug the power cord back in or restore the power supply and your washer-dryer combo should be ready for use.